Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will share the latest announcements from Microsoft Ignite around Power Platform. Ready, steady, let's go. Plan Designer. AI-powered workspace for turning your business requirements into a Power Platform solution. This will include your user stories, your data model, your apps, your automations. I describe my requirements, hit submit, plan designer springs into action. Takes my business problem, helps identify the different user roles. In my scenario, it's an expense reporting solution. Employee and manager are the two roles. The plan also includes a description of all the activities that these roles will perform. I can change this or I can simply accept. Next step, it begins to identify the tables and the columns that it would create based upon the business requirements stated. Here it comes up with the following data model. I can click show details to view it in an ERD diagram. I can make changes to this, ask it to add additional tables, create additional relationships. Once confirmed, I can hit save. Next step, it begins to identify the user experience that it needs to create. This will be a combination of Power Platform services from Canvas Power Apps to model driven Power Apps to Power Automate Flows. Plan Designer does its magic. It has a Canvas app where users can submit expenses, a model driven app for expense approval by managers, an automation flow for expense notifications another automation workflow for monthly expense reports. And these are all the tables that it will go ahead and create once I click the save button. I can get back to Power Apps, edit the plan, and keep iterating through the process. In model driven apps, we have the Copilot agent. This we can now customize with Microsoft Copilot Studio to bring in knowledge from other data sources. I can simply ask Copilot questions against my data set and Copilot springs into action with the response. We can also have Copilot smart filter and search for our data. I can simply describe in everyday words, what am I looking out for in this data set? For example, all employees hired in the last five years. Copilot does its magic to filter the data. Improved in-app agents for data entry and summaries. In model-driven app forms, now we can simply drag drop documents and the agent will fetch the information and smart fill the appropriate fields. In Power Automate, document processing gets an upgrade with GPT-4, which allows us to use natural language to extract and process unstructured data from documents like invoices, emails. This allows makers to combine multimodal content with your enterprise data in Dataverse while designing these prompts, which can be leveraged both in Power Automate and Power Apps. Generative actions, which allow us to add AI powered steps directly to our cloud flows, where AI can reason over unstructured content such as documents, PDFs, and more. Here, you simply describe your instructions, and the agent will define the input and output values. You can also bring in your content and run this action directly from Power Automate. The Power Automate expression syntax can be a complex undertaking for makers. How about Copilot write those expressions for us? When you head over to the expression dialog, you can simply describe to Copilot in natural language what you want to build and reference the dynamic content and Copilot will translate your prompt into a Power Automate flow expression that you can simply accept speeding up your development time and reducing manual effort. 
Automation center for Power Automate is now generally available. This is your centralized hub for efficient monitoring and troubleshooting for all automation processes in your environment at scale. Any organization can build powerful agents using Microsoft Copilot Studio. And now we can build autonomous agents. Agents built in Copilot Studio can now operate independently without the need for any human intervention. These agents can now be triggered. And here's the new trigger section. I can click Add Trigger. And this will list out triggers, which allows the agent to get triggered by data changes, events, or other background tasks, and not just through chat. Plus, makers can now easily generate agents from existing Power Apps using the knowledge, logic, and actions that's already built into those applications. This uses Microsoft Copilot Studio and is a great example of integration between apps and agents. If you look at the demo here, it's an expense reimbursement app. A maker takes the existing process that's baked into the app and simply builds an agent. This speeds up the time to create an agent which is another entry point through which users can interact with your data. Makers can also allow users to see which rows have been recently modified by the agent. The Power Platform Admin Center gets a refreshed new look. And this look has been centered around highly productive workspaces for specific tasks, including reviewing inventory in managed environments, monitoring security, licensing, co-pilot hub, and so much more. Here's Action Center that uses the advisor feature to recommend actions that you can take on environments that are managed. Let's take one example. Maintain tenant hygiene by cleaning up unused applications. Advisor is listing out all the apps that have not been used in the last 60 days. So I'm getting insights plus I can take action on the fly. Manage, this will list out all my environments, environment groups. Here we can group multiple managed environments and we can set rules on all those environments in one go. Environment management at scale, from setting sharing limits to getting usage insights and so much more. Security, from configuring network security, IP firewall, IP address based cookie binding and more, to access control from tenant isolation, to managing sharing, to the new option which allows you to restrict guest users from environments, to visibility into admin privileges. Now managed environments gives you advanced governance capabilities at scale. And the latest exciting update is around managed environment licensing. What's changing? As long as the user is appropriately licensed with at least one premium license, managed environment features will work and customers will be compliant. There is no change for premium assets. If your users are running premium apps or premium flows, they would need the appropriate premium license. However, for standard assets in a managed environment, one premium license where the app or flow will suffice. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.